I never had many friends growing up. People kind of stayed away from me for whatever reason. Mostly because I felt they just, you know, didn't like me. I don't know, maybe it was the way I looked or the vibe I gave off, but I was always a loner. This carried over into my adulthood. I had no one at home waiting for me. No one to hug me when I was sad. No one to love me. The only way I survived was to put a lot of concentration into my work. It seemed to help me forget my loneliness. Anyway. One day, a fellow worker asked me to attend his wedding. I was really taken aback because, you know, we were okay, you know? Like, we were okay. <sighs> okay with each other. But I didn't think enough of it that I'd be invited to his wedding. It was awkward. Oh. I gave it some thought, though, and I figured, hey, if the guy wanted me to go, I'll go. Out of respect. Okay, so you know, I ended up going. And I was put a table away in the back that had people who, you know, like me, were mostly people he knew, but, you know, not like intimately. You know, after some serious awkwardness for a while, we all started to have a good time. You know? And I felt I made a good decision to be there. The people I was sitting with were very nice. You know, they, uh, we all shared like little silly stories, you know, the usual polite laughs. But, you know, it was, it was all good feelings. But at that moment, like it was meant to be, the wedding DJ starts playing this slow romantic song and everyone gets up to dance one by one. And I soon realized that I'm the only person alone. Like, like I said, there was, you know, the table was way in the back. There was like a whole entire sea of tables in front of me. And I could see all the couples holding each other in their arms and kissing each other. And <sighs> while I sat there, humiliated, all by myself, alone. After the song was over, which took forever, everyone came back to their tables. The people that were sitting with me, you know, came back and I may believe nothing was wrong. They had no idea of the great pain I suffered, the great humiliation. I just continued smiling as before, making small talk, just like before. When I got home, I laid down on my bed. Looking up at the ceiling. And I just thought, I, I, I couldn't go on like this. Not like this. I had a miserable life. And the guy sitting at that table all alone was the story of my life. I reached into my drawer. I took out a 38 that I had next to my bed for protection. And I put the gun to my head. But not before emptying all the chambers except one. One bullet.
I put the gun to my head and I pulled it several, the trigger several times. And obviously, you know, it didn't go off. But I knew the next one, that was it. One more time. One more time. One more time, ladies and gentlemen. My brains would be spread all across that bedroom wall. That's how they'd find me. That's how they find them. And I started to break down. Like, really break down. I was still gonna go through with it though. Oh yeah. I still had my finger on the trigger, ready to pull, but another knock came. Somebody's knocking at the door. And I'm standing there with a gun to my head and one more time. Somebody knocks at the door. So I'm like really puzzled. I, I, I want to know who it is. I, I mean, I just want to know who it is. So I put the gun down. I walked over to the door. I opened it. The little old lady standing right in front of me. She's holding a Bible in her hand. And she says, hey, mister. Jesus still loves you. And then she just walks off in the distance. I'm holding the Bible in my hand. I'm just walk, watching her walk into the distance. And I knew at that exact moment that this was no arbitrary chance meeting. This was divine intervention. That's how it happened. That was my baptism. And it was at that exact moment that I gave up everything! Everything! to come spread the word about Jesus Christ. The Supreme One, the Awakened One, the One above all. And that I would spread the word to everyone I could, to everyone that comes in that door. Michael, row your boat ashore. Hallelujah. Michael, row your boat ashore. Hallelujah.